Hey everyone and welcome back to LT3D. Now, if you're like me and you've just purchased and received your Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon, then you may be wondering what to print first. Well, today I'm gonna to share with you the first seven things that you need to print on your Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. Now, some of these come pre-sliced on the printer already and others are just some nice quality of life upgrades that I'll have linked in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe. Without further ado, let's get printing. The first object on this list is of course a Benchy, and it is already stored in the onboard memory of the printer. Now for those of you that are new to 3D printing, you may be wondering what this cute little boat is and why it's called a Benchy. Benchy is short for benchmark as this print is a great way to test your printer's capabilities. It is designed to test how well your printer deals with overhangs, large smooth curves, tiny surface details, cylindrical shapes and much much more. Now for those of you that are familiar with Benchies, will know that this print usually takes around 40 minutes to over an hour depending on the printer. However, that is not the case with the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. Bamboo Lab has sliced this file themselves and have somehow reduced the print time to an impressive 24 minutes, which includes the 7 minute calibration and bed level. I definitely recommend printing this first as seeing the speed this prints at in person will blow you away. The second object on this list is a purge bucket. The purge bucket is a must have as every time your printer loads and unloads filament, it will purge an amount of filament and shoot it out the back of the machine through its poop chute. If you purchase an AMS, your printer will also purge an amount of filament every time you change color to ensure your colors don't get mixed in your print. Now there's plenty of different STL files available for purge buckets, however, I have chosen this one as it comes with two parts the bucket and the Bamboo Lab logo, which can be multicolor printed and glued on later. Bamboo Lab sells their filament in two different ways. The first is with a reusable spool and the second is in what they call the refill pack. Most of the colored PLA are not available with spools and will need to be purchased as refill packs. Now to use these refill packs, you will need to either purchase an empty reusable spool or 3D print your own, and luckily, Bamboo Lab has been kind enough to supply us with their own files on board the printer. Each print will take around 2.5 hours and just over 100 grams of filament to print, but once printed, you can install your refill packs and get printing. The next object on this list is a filament Y splitter. This is a must have for people who have an AMS unit that also want to print non-compatible AMS materials. The Y splitter makes it easier to swap from using the AMS to using an external spool of filament as you don't have to constantly remove and reinsert the guide tube connecting from the AMS to the printer. Simply connect the Y splitter to the machine and use the guide tube from the AMS to connect to one side of the Y splitter and the second to connect to an external spool on your spool holder. Next up is probably my favorite print on this list. The AMS removal tool is a little handy tool that makes removing both the guide tube from the AMS buffer and the pin cables a lot easier. The left side slides under the tube and presses into the connector to remove the guide tube and the right side slides under the pin cable. The penultimate object on this list is a vase. Now, you might argue that this isn't a must print, but in my opinion, it is. It comes stored on the onboard memory of the printer and is honestly a great print to see how the printer deals with high detailed objects. It is also a great present for loved ones. The final item on this list is a scraper. Now, if you've made it this far in the video, then clearly you're enjoying it, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Anyway, enough of the plug, let's get back to the final item. Bamboo Lab supplies you with a bamboo scraper blade in the accessories box. Now, it took me a little while to realize this, but stored in the printer's onboard memory is a file that allows you to print your own scraper that the blade slides onto. It takes just over an hour to print and comes with a stand to hold it in. This is a great idea in my opinion, and it works very well. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you printed any of these or if you have any other must prints to add. Also as usual, don't forget to like, subscribe and um, happy printing.